Uh, Heli Bacon is a helicopter company and our main operation is helicopter hog depredation. The feral hog population in Texas, it's, it's at the point that it's going to grow exponentially and uh, the use of helicopters has been found to be the most effective way to actually eliminate the pigs. So doing what we can to help try to fix a problem that unfortunately is going to keep on growing. The safety course that we provide for the hunters is absolutely vital in our minds for the safe operation of a weapon inside a helicopter. So during the safety course we have a number of different topics such as weapon manipulation, uh, weapon safety, weapon emergency procedures, what to do uh, when the hunter encounters a, some sort of jam they have to clear the weapon from the aircraft. It's exhilarating just being up on the helicopter, hanging out, uh, seeing the countryside from a different point of view, uh, getting the opportunity to get on some hogs and, and uh, you know, help out, help out the U.S. on their hog uh, infestation that they have. We're not allowed to use uh, automatic weapons while we're hunting back in Canada, so it's a completely different experience. <laughs> I actually became familiarized with firearms uh, right when I started my flight training, so a little over five years ago. I didn't grow up with firearms in the house at all. Uh, I didn't fire my first gun until I was 20. I've just kind of fallen into it and they've always interested me and since then just kind of become a part of my life. The community in Bay City, they are very enthusiastic about uh, our presence here. Bay City is a small farming and ranching community and the more we can help them, the better the problem is going to get out here. Uh, you know, in the U.S., obviously, you know, in Texas, you got a driver's license, you can you can own a gun. So uh, I'm actually moving to Dallas here in July. I'm looking forward to that uh, change. About 75% of our clientele is out of state. We, we certainly recognize the pattern that people come from places where gun laws are very strict and people may not even be able to own guns or much less be able to uh, do this type of operation or, or anything like this with a gun at all.